You probably don't know this, but we are actually living quite revolutionary times. Why do I say so? I say so because we are coming near what is called the peak oil. Peak oil is an estimate and a theory about when does the global production of oil come to the peak where it starts its descendants. And this has been argued last 50 years about when this moment is coming. But now there are recent estimates, uh, among others, uh, Mac McKinsey has estimated that now we are actually a few years away from the peak oil. And the reason for that is simply this. It is time when alternative energy sources, particularly when it comes to the uh, transportation and energy production, uh, have come to the point when they are market competitive and actually cheaper than oil and fossil fuels. So this is the fundamental shift that is now happening. And of course, we can say that it's really high time to change. I'm Marco Vilenius, your traveling futurist. And the way I look at the future, but also the way I look at the past and the present is that I try to make sense what is the dynamic patterns behind the global development. And my argument is that we are now shifting. In fact, we have already shifted to the sixth wave of global development. Each of these waves are 40 to 60 years and they started when industrial revolution kicked off some 200 years ago. Now we are in the sixth wave and the sixth wave is all about resource efficiency. What does it mean? It means that whatever we do, we try to do it more intelligently with less material input and with the output that is more environmentally friendly, more tuning in to the real um, uh, well-being of the people as well. So it's about time when we look at whatever we do here on Earth from the human perspective in a such a way that we take into account our relationship uh, with nature and natural system. Now producing and consuming oil has been of course key component of building our industrial bases all around the world. Without oil, this would have not happened in the way it happened. So oil has been a quintessential part of all of this. And now we are here actually in Dubai, which is the centerpiece of the Middle East. And Middle East has been the greatest source of oil uh, since the last uh, 70, 60 years or so. But now we are moving into the era where we start to look for alternatives. And because it's a strive to become more, much more lean, much more energy efficient, much more sustainable, much more productive in a real sense of the word, then if we start to see that actually we have it now we have the technology we have the interest of human beings because we are on the way to destroy our planet so we need to divert from the path that we have been this far which is particularly the last 70 years uh, meant that there has been a global exponential growth of almost anything and that means that now that we are changing our course, it means that we are having new opportunities, yes, but also uh, there is a lot of vested interest. Now, when we look at the situation with the oil, producing and consuming the oil, you can say that uh, oil industry still is one of the strongest industries in the world. 
and also in many cases hugely enormously profitable business so which means that oil business really has a lot to defend eventually they will also step into a new era start to produce alternative energy sources but they are also defending their position currently and this is happening in spite of the fact that we have so much knowledge and information about how the climate is changing how hot it will become the whole earth if we continue this path because unfortunately we humans tend to be rather short-termist in our behavior and in our action but this is the time when we are called to have a much longer view and changing from oil to some other more sustainable sources is now a very very concrete call out there and we have to respond to that and this is indeed happening the investments have been flooding now into alternative energy systems also you can say that biofuels biotechnology bioenergy is also coming much more into the fore uh, as there has been severe efforts to to build also that type of the products and services in a way that could offer alternative solution to the oil-based synthetic products and as this shift has been underway it sometimes feel quite slow but this decade will be the one where we can see a radical shift and this can happen only because we have those alternatives now in place it is very clear that we are never going to use the last drop of oil that we find on this earth if we allow us to go that far it is actually too late for us to do anything else so we need to stop that before and that has to be kind of a common political decision and this is a hard bite because you look around the world you look here in the middle east how so many countries here are almost totally dependent on the uh, oil revenues um, but not only here in the middle east you look at the situation with the russia you look at the situation with some of the south american countries like venezuela and so forth and so forth we see a huge amount of dependency on on oil production and that's why even if we have scientific concrete evidence that we cannot continue producing and consuming the oil the way that we have done this far we still need to have something that compels us to make the necessary shift we know also that we still have a huge dependency when we look at the global production of energy fossil fuels meaning oil gas and coal comprises something like 80 percent of all production so it's it's a huge majority and yet we have a lot of evidence before 2050 actually much before 2050 we should actually gear that fossil fuel part of our energy production down to zero looks pretty much mission impossible considering how strong position uh, fossil fuel have in our energy po portfolio but still I claim that it's not impossible it is totally possible and that is so because we have already started to see how much actually climate is changing and it becomes a very real thing when IPCC which is which is the intergovernmental panel on climate change started to produce their reports um, back in 1990s it was still the time when they didn't get too much attention of their findings and probably their models on those days were not 
as developed as they are today. But ever since the scientific knowledge and the information has been ramping up enormously, simply because there has been so much more research that has been done and the models have become much better. So now we have a very convincing set of evidence to show that, that this is a real issue, the climate change, and it's happening here and now. And we as human beings and the planets cannot tolerate if we let that go rampant, if we don't do enough to prevent that. And that means, again, that the using oil for any kind of energy production uh, in the transportation or creating energy or anything like that, we cannot do that in the future. And that means that we have to somehow be able to build a common agreement, which is of course what the United Nations related um, policy process has been trying to do over the years and decades. But now that we have alternatives that the market competency and there is a growing willingness to really to do something about this, we start to see the real shift taking place. And when I look at this as a futurist, I see that this is one of the most important implications of era that we are now experiencing, this sixth wave, where we are looking at our resource efficiency and where we are building a much more intelligent industrial system here on Earth. The important aspect in all of this is to note that carbon in the air is something that is needed, but excessive carbon in the air is poison. So stopping to use oil and other fossil fuels is not enough, but it's a necessary part of tackling the climate change. The other part, obviously, is to sequestrate that tie the carbon into the soil. And there is a hope there that some of the oil industry representatives start to see that also as an opportunity for them. The more they move towards the alternative energy sources and start to invest them, the more they will benefit from that in the future, because this is the type of the necessity that will push us to the right direction, if not now, then at some point in the near future. And so those who want to be in the pioneer in this, those will be the ones that will make the best use of this shift by contributing to the new reality in which we are in and building alternative system to oil and fossil fuels. Subscribe to my channel, see other related videos and hope to see you soon again.